All right, as promised, here's the video. I'm gonna show you how to use the original Chromebooks that we had, the newer, or the, I guess, the older Dells, the newer Microsoft, and even the newer Dell, that's the newest Dell. How to log in uh, School City and do the lockdown browser. So the Chromebook, the old Chromebook, is the hardest one of all, or it's the trickiest, I should say, not hardest. But before the student actually logs in, what you need to do is have them go down to apps. They must do it from here and choose, um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see better. It, you, you're gonna go to School City from here. Now, they need to have this app Lockdown Browser there, but they're still gonna choose School City. So they just need to make sure if you have a student with this old Chromebook that they come just so these apps automatically get downloaded, but School City is where they're gonna click it from here. They will not log into their computer like normal. They will go through School City. Otherwise, if they try to go through Clever, uh, once after logging in, it will not work. So you must go through here before logging into the computer. So that's the thing with the old Chromebook. Now moving on to the Dell. If a student was gonna take, Clever, Anna, do you mind going to, is yours turned on yet? Go to uh, Clever and then School City. So for the other computers, let me see if I can get it where you can see. She's gonna go to clever.com and from there choose School City. Nebelini, do you mind doing the same thing on yours? Yeah, you can go ahead, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you. These other three computers are all the same. It honestly doesn't matter, but let me come around here. And so, can you go to your first tab over here so they can here? see? Yeah, it's clever. From Clever, what Evelini did is she scrolled down until she found School City, or she just searched it one or the other. But it's in the uh, apps that are instructional tools. You can see it here. Okay, so she clicked School City. Go ahead. And from here is where she would take her exam. Now, if uh, can you click on Take Assessments? So right now, she doesn't have anything there, and I'm gonna turn on an assessment in a moment. And the same thing would be true for the newer Dell or the older Dell, it's the same thing. They'd go through Clever, they'll choose School City, and all will work as long as they have that program called Respondus downloaded, which I'll show you in a moment. So what I'm now gonna do is come over to my teacher computer and show from a teacher viewpoint, I've made an assessment. So this is now my computer. Let me uh, close this. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to School City. In case you've never used this, I'll show you how it works. Uh, I'll sign in with my normal work. back up so you can see more of my screen here okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, activate a test so you can see what that looks like with lockdown uh, I created one if you go to school right now so with ACPs as uh, Miss Likas said I think I believe she said go to district for the ACPs but for now I'm gonna go to school so if you click district well she said another thing as well let me not to ignore this you must change your role when it's actual ACP time from teacher you'll go to change my role to ACP administrator. But for now, if you wanna try this on your own, I created, if you go to school, you should see this exam right here that says teacher help and preparation for ACPs. What I'm going to do is go over here on that line and click this computer online admin. And now I'm going to just select the students that I have that I just showed you uh, their computers for. Let me go to my fifth period and I'm just gonna activate all the students in my fifth period. So I check mark this, all my names get uploaded, and I click this activate button. Ask me questions, 31, or statement, 31 are activated. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back over the student computers. And I showed you Evelini's earlier that she clicked take assessment and nothing was there. Now, as she refreshes her page, when she clicks test take assessment, she sees that one I just activated, the teacher help for ACP. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's gonna open up a window and it's basically telling her that she's gonna open up Lockdown Browser. It's going to ask her a bunch of questions. It tells her her battery life right there. And then it's gonna close any other apps. And so it's, we'll find out if she has anything else open right now. Many do. She does not. Okay, she gets a one question. And so basically I just made a one question test, but before you choose submit, I wanna show for the math. This is very important if you give a math. Can you go up to the tools up in the top right? There's magnifying class and there's tools. Click the advanced calculator. That's how, if you're giving a math, how a student would get to a calculator. 
would be through that tab right there. So I wanna make sure teachers who give math know how to tell students how to get to the calculator if they don't know. Okay, so now you can close that and you can submit. Now she selected that she has a Windows laptop, which I made as the correct answer. So when she submits, she'll actually see her score that she made 100. Um, and where she can go to review scores. Now I'm not sure if the ACP will be that way, but she can go to review scores and see hers. Same thing over here. Now going over to Oscar's computer, if he click take assessments, he would see he already has a different assessment of there, but he can go to the teacher help as well and take that. One more thing I didn't point out, I wanna do it now. So we're gonna open lockdown browser. When this opens up, so here he has other op apps open. And so this closed process is that lockdown browser is closing everything else out. So here's his same one question. If he wanted to leave, he cannot. So you can click this. You must complete this before you can close it. So once a student opens a test in lockdown, they can't leave. If you have a student's computer fro free, so like there, I'm trying to click the X. You have to, the only thing I could figure out before Thanksgiving break when I gave one of these tests was to power down the entire computer and reactivate the test for that particular student. So uh, just be aware of that. If a student's computer freezes, the only thing I know that you can do is power it down. You have to go back to your teacher computer and reactivate their test. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show was, okay, what if you don't have that lockdown app? Let's use it. Anna's computer, uh, her test again would be there as well because I activated for all students here. The app that students must have is this one. If they have a newer computer, they can download that. So they must have lockdown browser. And the way they can get that, if they don't have it here, um, there's, Oscar, do you mind grabbing that piece of paper that I printed? It's hot right on my desk there. Uh, the way they can get this is if they have, um, where is his apps? Well, I don't see the apps right here, but uh, here's the paper that was sent out. What a student can do is click search Microsoft Store, click company portal, and a lot of students may already have this company portal, which you could just type in down here. That's what I was looking for. And this is how you download that app if it's not there. I'll type in company portal. And so you can see that she already has it installed. And from here, you could select, you type in Respondus, and that's how you get that lockdown app. So I promise this longest video ever will, is about to come to a conclusion, but hopefully this will tell you how, you'll understand how to do this in the future. Respondus. That's the app that a student needs for the newer laptops, not the original old Chromebook. So once, that's what you search right there. It's, hers is, we're having Wi-Fi issues, but um, that's what you'll search and download that app and then you should be good to go.